up here definitely Fuck. last thing we'll do is see ah it's over good girl yeah it's quite steep up there that's where we're headed something up in here they just don't know where it is just want to get away from this creek so my ears working because the noise of it still going out. We'll get up onto this ridge up here. We've got B and Pace out front and you can see the classic zigzag sharp turn. They're trying to work out where the animal is. Zoom in a little bit. They're just tracking and hunting. Down through this thick ass stuff down here. Now the old boy's starting to get his heart and lungs going. Sure as hell sign. There's a hunter up here this morning. So I've climbed quite far for this hunt, but I think it's gonna be fruitless. However, there's no reason not to try, so we carry on up. Listen. Down that gully, is it? It's moving, it's moving. I haven't stopped it. I think you have to go straight through down here. Yeah. Dogs have already killed it, not a big one. It's still down there 26, so we can find it, eh? Big CP. Might be jumping on it. Good dogs. It wasn't a big pig, but it was a pig. Four dogs kill a pig pretty quick. Good dogs. Let's go on pace. Leave it. Leave it. It's a little ball. I'm going to take some meat off it. Leaving it behind, a little ball. Good dogs. Took us a while to get to that one, but we'll eat that today. Gonna stick it in my pack. Think about young pigs like this, you can eat it straight away because it's tender. Yeah, it's gonna clean the camp oven, and this is our bit of pork we got. What's left over? Daniel's staying with us right now. Cooked some up last night, he had a, quite a big feed of actually, the lion's share took some cauliflower out of the garden, he had cauliflower and wild pork and he loved it. He does a bit of chefing on the side so he made it taste quite good. I had a wee bit, it wasn't too bad. The dogs always hang around when I'm cooking because they know there'll be something left over. So that's the, the blade, the shoulder blade, and that's what we've got out of it, plus a bit around the neck. And Bruno can have this. Hey Bruno. There you go. Got me baby camp oven here. Just gonna smash that in. Here's the trick. This is the trick to making tender pork vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar there. On top of that, olive oil. And on top of that, a heap of salt. Lots of salt. Fresh vegetables. The 
Italian parsley. I don't think we're going to eat those ones. No, we can't. They're poisonous. Not much cabbage left. I'm not going to pick another one though. It's our last tomato. Cabbage. One and a half onions chopped. Oh, it's starting to heat up now. Good. One stalk of celery, don't want too much because it's quite overbearing flavour. Oh, mate, it's got a bit of cabbage. Fresh Italian parsley, tomato, diced. Oh, we lost one in the bloody fire. Can we save it? Yes, we can. Not a bad save there, Clay, if I don't mind saving myself. Sweet chilli, can go in. There's really only one thing I like more than wild pork, and that's it right there. Evening, ladies. You're not timing us, ain't you, fella? Hey, that's right, Bruno. Eat that, Pixie. Off you go. One, mate. A bit more for you, mate. You too, Pixie. We all know what goes well with pork, don't we? That's right. It's an organic apple. How are you getting on, bud? Fairly all right. Okay. Don't you know how you fun? guys get it so thin, but I'm trying my best. That's good. You're making a bit of kindling, are you? Yeah. Oh, she's looking good. Looking good. You getting hungry, Daniel? Yeah, bloody egg. I'm going to add some soy to this. It's going to go really well with the apple cider vinegar. And I'm also going to put some more olive oil and apple cider vinegar on it because it's gone down quite a bit. We don't want to dry it out too much. This is my mixture of apple cider vinegar and water and olive oil. I'll put straight in like that. Boom. She looks good, doesn't she? Smells bloody good too. I'm just simmering away nicely there. By the time it's dark, that'll be cooked and we'll be able to have it in the house truck to eat. Well, I've been teaching Daniel how to make fires and I think he's getting it. That's a lot better than your first one, Chief. <laughs> Cheers for that. It's good, mate. No, it's good. Bloody good. So what we're gonna have today, bud, is sour pork, and I'll say sour because it's done in the vinegar, which makes it uh, tender but can be a bit sour, we've got some apple on there as well, and oh she yeah. smells good doesn't it, yeah, bloody good. Yum, mm. good. Oh right, that's our kitchen cook video, we're going to chow down and eat our pork, pork cooked in the pot. It's really delicious, give it a go. I think you'll really enjoy this one. For me it's just right, but uh, you could put some garlic in there. You could also throw some hotter stuff in if you wanted something spicy. You could put a hot chilli, that's a sweet chilli. But for me it's, it's perfect. Have a good one, be good, can't be good, be careful, and we'll see you in the next video. See you later. All done on the fire. It's a great way to cook oh, yeah, it. Yeah. Same with the apple cider vinegar. That gives just a nice layer to it as well. So shoulders traditionally really chewy. Okay. And it's also the front hock a little bit, so it's tender, eh? Yeah.